This is a demo application we built to show off how to use portals for super apps. It's called Supernova. This application was built with the purpose of creating a, P, a B2E experience for enterprise employees. They would use this for day-to-day -day tasks like time tracking, requesting vacation, or giving accolades to coworkers. Let's log in and take a look at it. We can see that we have three mini apps inside of the super app, human resources, people perks, and time tracking. As we go to human resources, we can see a list of all time off requests that I've already created, or I can request time off. For people perks, we can see all activity of perks across the organization. And I can give a perk to a coworker to let them know they've done a good job. For time tracking, I'm logged in as a contractor right now. So what I have is the ability to create new time tracking entries. If I were logged in as a manager, I would see a list of entries that I need to approve. So let's create a new one. And it turns out that this button doesn't work. Well, I guess we'll come back to that. This super application we're looking at was built with Swift, which is the native language of iOS applications. It's responsible for navigation, managing what super apps appear, and then also authentication of the user. This information also provides a list of all of the apps that we see, which are human resources, people perks, and time tracking. Human resources and time tracking were built using Ionic and React, which we can show here. This is the time tracking application and we can see that it is using React and Ionic. For people perks, we can actually look at it in ODC Studio and see that this is the application. Now, one of the hallmarks of portals is this ability to interact between the web tech of the mini apps and the native application itself. So as we go into a mini app like Human Resources, authentication has already taken place from the super app. So when I go to Human Resources, that session information is provided to the mini app behind the scenes. And the web technology of this application can take it over and use that same session for subsequent data requests. So requesting all the time off here or creating a new time off request is all done using that same session from the native application. The other piece is this button at the top. This is an HTML button that lives in the mini app. And as we interact with it, JavaScript is creating an event and propagating that to the native side. The native application takes over that event and decides what action to take on it. In this case, the action is to transition back to the main screen using a native animation. Now these three applications are truly independent from the super app. Human resources, people, perks, and time tracking, the mini apps are managed, developed, and maintained by separate teams. And each team can make updates independently of each other. And I'm gonna show that now. In time tracking, remember how we had that plus button at the top that didn't work? Well, let's go ahead and fix that. We'll go back and bring up the project. Scroll down to where that button is broken and it turns out that it's just commented out. Okay, make the code change. This is when I would do a commit and then do a build, but I don't wanna to have to do that on this video. So I'm gonna use a pre-built build that I already have in Ionix Cloud Tool, which is AppFlow. Here we can see that the build has been completed to fix the on-click event. Let's deploy this as a live update. And we're going to deploy that to production. And it's been deployed. We'll go back over to the application, log out, log back in, go to time tracking, and we can see that that button is now wired up. So here in less than a minute, I was able to identify a bug in production fix the code, and to do a deployment. Now, within this demo, we see that that deployment is only happening on this single emulator on my device. But at that point in time, if there was a population of devices at an organization, or even their customers, that would be sent out to all of them simultaneously. So 
as a user were to log in, they would always get the most recent version of that application. And I was able to do that with confidence, knowing that the time tracking application code is a truly independent application from the super app or the other mini apps, which makes it easier to do these kinds of deployments. Thank you.